everybody it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and I decided today since I don't have a ton of time to um, create videos um, I'm gonna do hopefully what will be a semi quick video uh, maybe maybe not um, I do have to go to work today though so I need to make sure that um, I have time left over to get ready for work and all that good stuff because right now I'm just wearing my sweats and staying comfortable. I'm working the night shift tonight so I will be working until 10 p.m. Um, but thankfully I have a fairly short shift today so that is just fine by me. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do some clothespins today. I took four of them and I um, painted them. Okay, and so um, what I'll do real quick first, I guess, is I will read my New Year's quote. Um, we don't have a whole lot left in January, so um, I'll be reading these uh, New Year quotes until the end of January. Uh, my, my quote for today is, This year, live in the moment, start each day with gratitude, laugh more, which is one thing I really need to start doing, create meaningful connections, meditate, focus on the positive, believe it will all fall into place, stick to your goals, be generous, and choose happy. Um, let's choose happy for 2023, you guys. I am choosing to be happy. So, uh, not that I wasn't happy before, <laughs> but um, I'm going to choose to be even happier. So, um, let's all choose that. And you know what? Positive uh, thoughts, positive um, reinforcement to ourselves and others and um, as always I say be kind um, to other people I'm gonna tell you guys just a very quick story I went to the grocery store um, over the weekend and um, when I pulled in there was uh, a couple in the parking lot and of course they were holding their sign they were looking for um, for help and um, the thing of it is that the man was playing a violin and you guys you would not believe the sound that was coming out of this man's instrument and I think he was blind because he had, you know, he had that look, um, his eyes appeared to be a little bit kind of sunken in. Anyway, this man was playing that violin as if it was the last time he was ever going to play in his life. And it was the most beautiful thing, one of the most beautiful sounds I have ever heard. And they had it, they had it hooked up to sort of an amplifier um, thing. So you could hear it through the entire parking lot. And I stood there and I listened to them for a few minutes. They were quite a ways away from me. And I listened to them for a few minutes. I went into the grocery store and I came back out. And of course, I stood there for a few more minutes. And you know, you guys, I had nothing in my purse that I could, could hand them. And as I drove by, you know, the lady waved at me and I waved back at her. And of course, you guys know me by now if you've been watching my videos I can tend to get a little emotional and my emotions took over and I bawled my eyes out the entire way home because I couldn't give them anything so that really hurt me so one of my New Year's things to do is I'm going to make sure I always have at least a little something I don't care if I'm dead broke which I am <laughs> right now a little bit broke uh, but you know what there's people so much worse off than I am and I'm going to start making sure that I keep something in my wallet that if I run across someone like that, which is what I normally do, uh, but lately I haven't had, you know, a lot of spare change or money in my wallet. And I'm just going to make it a point to start making sure 
that I have it so that I can give to those who are less fortunate than me because those two people were out there out there in that parking lot with smiles two miles long and happy and doing the best they could to try and help themselves and what it, what he was doing was well worth my my spare change or whatever I could have given them at the time and it broke my heart that I wasn't able to hand them at least a couple of dollars so I'm gonna make sure that you know I don't hand money to everyone that's out there you know we've got a lot of homeless out there now it's insane of course I live in California where the homeless problem is becoming just astronomical and um, it's terrible it's absolutely terrible that um, we are not doing as a state and a country more to help our homeless people uh, they need help and they need you know they need people to care about them and while there are some that are out there because they want to be there are others who are out there who have just had terrible circumstances in their lives and they don't want to be in that position but they can't get out of it and so they're doing the best they can to help themselves so anyway it broke my heart hurt my soul I was devastated that I couldn't do something for these people and um, I'm going to do better this year I am going to do better to help my fellow uh, Californians <laughs> to um, live their best life and to at least help them if it's only for a moment to um, have a meal on the table that night or whatever it might be um, I've got to do better and I I am uh, fully intending on doing better for um, for other people because it's so important you guys um, I know there are a lot of people that don't like to uh, donate to the homeless, but you know what? If you were living here and you saw what I see every single day, and I live in a decent part of town, um, you would be appalled at some of the things that we have to witness. And it, it is appalling. It's, it's awful, awful, awful that we're helping you know we're we're allowing criminals to just go off scot free burn down buildings and 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 destroy people's businesses and we're helping other things we're building this fast rail system instead of taking care of our homeless and our veterans and that's all i'm going to say i'm not going to rant on about this but it breaks my heart and um Every day my heart breaks a little bit more and it just, it just upsets me so much the way that they're treated. Anyway, so let's go ahead and move on with our project. And um, I think I'm going to work on a couple of these white ones first. And then I'll do a couple of the uh, raw wood ones second and let's just keep those in front of us and right here I've got some of my um, my cards uh, cardstock images and things I thought maybe I would cut some pieces out of these to add to them these were the ones that I chose but then um, after I thought about it as far as especially this one with the little birds I love 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 this is like one of my favorites I love this one and so I thought what I would do, I went into my uh, room where I've got my copier and I shrunk some of these down so that, on my copy machine so that I could um, fit them on the clips better and get more of the image in there. So. I'm going to definitely, I'm probably going to use a couple of these because I think I'm going to do the white ones with this image. Let me just get this cut out of here real quick and then I'll cut it down in a moment. Um, so see that will fit 
a little bit better. It's not going to fit the whole thing. Um, yeah, that kind of bothers me. It's still not small enough. Hmm. I thought for sure that was going to that was going to work. What we're going to end up getting is just part of the birds there, but. Uh, I'm not happy about that. You know what? We're going to use a different one of these. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. This has a bad spot on it, but that's okay. I don't need the whole card. Here's This one doesn't. And then I've got this one, too, that's kind of cool. So let's cut from this one. And I think... I think what I'll do is I'll just set this on the edge here. And I'm going to take it a little ways over and Oops, I thought I got my line on there. I guess I didn't in the first part. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out right along my line here. And we'll use that bit on this one. And then this piece over here has a lot of the, the flowers in it. I may change this one and use a different portion of it, I think, because I like having a little bit more of this blue in there, too. So I'm going to go like that. It didn't even draw on there. What's wrong with this pencil? There. And then maybe I will go right here for this one and I'm just going to draw my line on the front of this so that I can see what I'm cutting out. I'll just draw it all the way around. I think I can see that at least most of it. And we're going to cut it right there. And right there. Okay. What did I do with the other one? What did I do, you guys? Oh, ta, I haven't cut it out yet. <laughs> okay, I forgot I marked the other one on the back side. in just ever so slightly on that edge. Okay. So I'm going to use this one and that one. And look at how pretty these are going to be. Decide which way I want to go with that. And there's that one. Okay. And this, I know I need to cut a 
tiny bit off there and a little bit off that end because it was a little bit long. And then the sides seem to be good. And this one we're just going to cut a slight amount off of as well. Okay, so you just want to cut it so that it fits um, the top side of your clothespin. And these are just these the bigger clothespins that you can buy like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, I have my my paintbrush here and a little bit of Mod Podge and I'm just gonna dip my brush in my Mod Podge make sure I have the side that I want to use okay and you just need to get a nice coat of your Mod Podge on there and the reason I like to use cardstock paper doing these is because number one, it um, won't wrinkle when you put the uh, the Mod Podge on there. And number two, I sometimes uh, with this, I usually won't paint over the top of it. Um, And with it being a thicker paper, it doesn't bother me to not paint over the top. Although, when you're using the cardstock, it really doesn't hurt it to paint over the top because that's usually when I get the wrinkles, is once I put that top coat of Mod Podge on. But with this uh, cardstock, it's still not going to hurt the uh, finish. Or, I'm sorry, it's not going to make it wrinkle. So I am going to take and put just a little bit of Mod Podge over the top of this. Just to give it a little bit of a finish. And then I will uh, quickly dry it with my heat gun that Kim sent me. And I will be right back. Okay, so we've got them all dry now. Um, that took about 30 seconds. <laughs> it wasn't very long at all. And um, now we're just going to embellish it. Now, one of the things that I took out, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not because they may be a little bit too big. But I thought, wouldn't it be cute? And maybe I'll use these on the little wooden ones to put like a set of these on two of them. And I think these would be cute on the little wooden ones. So I think I'm gonna save those for, I've got a couple of teapots here, so I'll be able to do two. And I still have one more teapot and some cups left here. So I've still got some that I can do something else with. Um, so we're going to put those up there and then start embellishing these. And what I want to do is, not sure what exactly I want to use to embellish these. I've got, I don't want to use that. And I think even this might be a little bigger than what I really want to use, but I can put it off to the side. Look how pretty that looks on there. I've also got this pretty purple, but I think maybe I'll save this for the, for the um, one with the teacups. Look how pretty that's going to be. But you guys, you just need so little in the way of embellishments on these. This is actually a purple as well, um, eyelash trim. Even a little piece of that popping out would be pretty like at the top. And I think I'm going to keep that with the purple one. I have this beautiful little purple butterfly, so we'll put that over there. And I have a little piece of mesh here 
that I thought maybe I would use. Let me get you guys in a little bit closer to the subject here. And I thought maybe I would cut this down in half and put at least a little piece of this poking out at the top. So we're just going to go ahead and start um, start layering this. And I know I've done other um, videos with the uh, clothespins in the past. I do really enjoy making these. So it's something that I will bring to you guys every now and then. I'll do a new one um, just because I do love them. And then we'll add one to this one. Just a teeny dot of glue is all we need there. And that just adds, you know, height to your, your clothes pin. And so you can see this is the top, this is the bottom where you can clip your items. And I'm just hoping, the one thing I am hoping, these are going to be refrigerator magnets. So I'm hoping I can quickly find my magnets. I just realized I hadn't, I hadn't looked for those before I started my video. But that's okay. And then I, th I think I'm going to use, look at how beautiful this silver. Deanna, my friend Deanna sent me this silver um, trim and I definitely am thinking I want to use that. I was thinking I might even add, you know, like a little silver and a little gold um, to this. I don't know. I just had, I took a piece of that uh, mesh um, that Debbie sent me from Kiki's. I don't know if I'll use both. I'll probably just use the silver on these because the silver really is pretty. I had also thought about just taking a piece of this white trim and putting it along the side because that looks really nice with these um, and maybe I'll use that on the the wooden one but I had my heart set on using this silver trim because it really is gorgeous so I'm just gonna measure this out and cut this right about there and we'll just go ahead and measure it to the next piece and go ahead and cut it off. All right. And I've got a couple of sequins that fell off. Maybe I'll find a spot to pop those on. Okay, so how do I want to do this? Maybe do one on this side and one on the other side. And we've got that hanging over the edge, you guys. Just like that. So you can see on the other side, I'm going to take a little dot of glue here and put that sequin piece over so that it's not going to let go of those sequins there. And then this one, we're going to put on the other side. Make sure I've got it turned the right way. Okay. There we go. Already those look really, really pretty. And then we need our other little doodads and things. I'm wondering, I've got these pretty, um, I think they're called Fomerand flowers that Deanna sent me. I really, really like these because they're a, a, a nice size and I like the way they kind of sit. I'm going to use one of these on each one and then I'm going to use some of my flowers from Kiki's um, around them too. So there's going to be a little bit of a combination of paper flowers and um, one of the foam flowers in each one of these. And then I'm going to take a couple of pink paper roses. 
and I have teeny white ones too. So I'm not exactly sure how many flowers we're going to put on these, but I just want to have them cut so that they're ready to go. And I have teeny tiny pink flowers too. So I'm just going to kind of separate these out. We've got that and that and that. Okay. And you know, generally I like to have odd numbers of everything, so I'm going to just add those two just in case. All right. Oh, I had five flowers because I had the, the big foam flowers, so we'll save those. Okay, so let's see. My only question is, do I want to put these in, say, the center area, or do I want to put them up here? And I think what I generally like to do is I like to put my flowers right around this area, and then I'll put something else up there. So I'm going to start gluing these on right there and sort of have them almost coming off the edge there so that I can fit them in and they will all look like a nice little bunch of flowers. I just love making these refrigerator magnets, you guys. I, I really, really love them. Um, they're a lot of fun to play with and they look awesome on my refrigerator. I have these things all over my refrigerator. Not all over. I'm not like crazy crazy about it but I just love them so I think I'm gonna put this pink flower right in there just like that and this little white one we're gonna put in that corner okay so look how pretty that is, you guys. It looks phenomenal. And I almost did this one upside down. <laughs> that would have been terrible. I would have been so mad at myself. I don't even know when I turned that around the other. Oh, when I was playing with putting that on. Okay, so now this one. We're going to put this right there, and I know I'm covering up those pretty flowers in my image, but those images, generally, they do kind of get covered up. It's just the way it goes. But then there's still enough of a pop of the colors and stuff coming out in other areas that it, it looks great. Okay. And then we'll put this pink one right here and a white one right there and this pretty little tiny pink one right there. And look at those. And I want to, let me see this sequin here. I'm going to put just a tiny dot of glue right there. I don't even know if I got it on there, but we're going to test it and see. I think I did. And I'm just going to pop that little sequin down right there. And then I have one more over here that fell off. And I'm going to put it right there. Now, I may end up covering these up because I was thinking I'd kind of like to put um, a couple of pearls in here somewhere. And I think I'm going to use my pretty uh, strands of pearls that I got from Kim because these always just look so pretty in everything. And I like to have them kind of popping out. So we're just going to Pop a little glue right back in here, and I'm going to pop that in there, and I should have actually cut a couple of them off 
from the get-go because I do want two of them in there. There we go. And now for the other one. And I'm just going to go kind of back and forth on these so that I keep them um, uniform. I want, because these are going to be like a matching set of um, magnets. So I want them to match. There's our big one. And our little one. Okay, so there's that one. Um, and then, oh, let's see, I need to grab something to put at the top and I've got all of this great bling. It's so funny because I get all these these wonderful wonderful bling pieces and I love them so much that I have a hard time using them. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm like oh what if something better comes along that I need that for. <laughs> and with Deanna sending me this awesome package of bling stuff. I have a ton. Oh, you know what though? Debbie also sent me and I think it would probably be better because it's small stuff. Debbie sent me some small bling. I had this um, this flower that I was thinking about using and I love that. It looks awesome. And I think I have I have two of these, but I think I'm gonna save those for something else because I love these flowers so much. They were earrings. I already cut the backing off of this one. They are the prettiest little flowers. I wish I could find more of them because they really are gorgeous. We've got that we could cut a piece off of. Let's see, let's open this bag too. We've got these, but that doesn't really show up much. Or we could go with our pretty little tri triple pearl. Those are super pretty on there. Uh-oh. And let's see, the rest, of, oh, we've got these, which would match with, actually, that would be pretty just kind of coming out right there. No, I'm not going to waste those because I oftentimes need something that color. Not that I'd be wasting. I, I love these these um, clothespins. I mean, love, love, love them. And it's always so fun to put them together. We've got a pink and a white one of those. Those look really pretty. Although those actually, what if I was to just put those there? Oh boy, or down here at the front. That looks really pretty too. I do like these pearl pieces right there though. I think those look really, really nice right there. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave those off of there. I do want to try and find some of my pearls. Uh, let's see, where did I put my little jar of pearls? Okay, so I found my pearls. I just um, 
shut you guys off for a second so I could go find them. And I also got my magnets out. Um, but in the process, I did find... Let's get that out of the way. I did find my little butterflies and look how pretty those look on there. OMG. And I don't think I can do both. I think I'm going to go with the butterflies here on these because they actually really, really set the whole thing off. I was considering putting one of these on each of these, but they just hang too long. Um, so we're not going to use those. I think that the butterfly and a couple of pearls is really all these need. So I'm just going to add my pearls first. And we're just going to add them in at a couple of random spots. And I'm going to put three pearls in each one. So we're going to put one right there. Okay. And I have three more left here. This one has... Oh, it had a little piece of nylon stuck in it. I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to get it out, but it came right out. It was just that nylon string. Okay, so we've got that one. And on this one, we're going to put it right there. And one right there. On this one, I just placed it a little bit differently with this pearl. But that's okay. I like to sometimes do a little bit something different, but it's still equal on both sides, on both clips. And now we're going to add our little butterflies. I'm just going to try and clip off a little bit of this wire that's sticking out at the bottom. Put a nice little dollop of glue on there. And look, it's got that little piece of mesh lace behind it, and it looks really, really cute. Cut the wire off of this one. And a little bit of glue. There we go. Okay, so that's those two. Oh, let's put our our magnets on the back and we'll have two great refrigerator magnets. And I love these cans for putting my magnets in because they have a mag uh, magnet on the back of them so the magnets don't roll around and fall out of there. So I love these these little cans that you get at the Dollar Tree for, or tins that you get at the Dollar Tree, I should say, for um, this kind of stuff. Okay, we got one on that one. We're just using a little dot of hot glue right there in the center. Pop on our magnet in the center. I'll try and get my ooze out of there. And you want to make sure that you get this magnet down quick enough so that it's flat and you don't have a magnet that's going to sit like that on the refrigerator because it got a big clump of glue under it. So there we go. We have two beautiful, beautiful refrigerator magnets. Let's see. There we go. There. And there. So those turned out super duper nice. I love them. I'm sorry, I keep getting out of the camera's view. There we go. Super pretty. Um, maybe, 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 maybe what I could do is add just a little touch, if I have enough in here, of some stickles just in a couple of spots. I don't know if this is going to come out of here, though. I 
I've got more of this stickle somewhere around here, but I am not sure exactly where I placed it. Like that. Maybe we'll just add a little bit of silver stickles. We've got silver in here, so that'll look pretty. So I'm just going to put just a little bit here and there. A little bit over here. And a little bit coming out from here. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit of stickles onto the butterflies right here. Give them a little burst of sparkle. And these are the butterflies that my friend Sherry sent me a while back. And I actually saved a few of them because I fell in love with these little teeny tiny ones. These are my favorites. I like the big ones, but I love the teeny tiny ones because for my projects and stuff, I use a lot more little things. And I enjoy having little things to kind of pop in here and there on my pieces. So I don't know what I did with the bottle for this lid. I'll find it in a minute, but for now I'm going to set the silver one aside. And we've got these all done. So I'm just going to put these aside for now. And let's see if we can very quickly do these two wooden ones. And I don't know, on the wooden ones, we're going to do these a little bit different. And we don't need that. What did I, um, what did I do with all my little tiny images? I've got these little teeny um, images that I printed. Um, and these I'm using, I'm, I wanted to use in some of my little books. Oh, we'll use her because she will look really pretty on these. So we're going to go kind of more, since we're using the wood, more with a, a, a vintage theme on these. And I'm going to take, this is just a piece of cardstock that I punched with my, um, with my little punch here. Um, and I'm going to cut this a little bit narrower, just not cutting into the section where the punch is, but I'm going to cut all along there. And then we're going to let's see, we'll just one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so I think we're gonna we're gonna go with three bits in each one, just like that. I'm gonna cut that one out. Okay, there we go. So I just want to have these kind of underneath maybe poking out towards the top of each one like that. I thought those would be pretty to add to it. So uh, those and then I thought too maybe if I use those and sort of go along the side of it with this or as you know I was planning on going with using the purple you know what I think maybe I'm gonna leave this off for now and I'm gonna go with this purple lace instead and I'm just getting some of these other threads out of this okay so I need one, two, we're going to cut that right there. And we've got, and I'm going to make these look the same. So we're going to cut this little tiny piece off at this end. 
And we're going to save that. Don't throw those away, you guys, because they can still be used. And this, I'm going to cut my lady out, but I need to see how much of her I can fit. And I'm going to gently just cut enough that, um, you know, just cut little, little teeny strips off of it so that I don't cut too far. So that she just fits on there. Look at how pretty she is. I just love this image so much. And I saw that I printed some of these tiny ones and I saw that and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to use her. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to cut right along the same spot on this other one because again this is going to be a matching set so I want them to look the same so we've got those cut out and another part of me is saying you know maybe ugh, only thing is is with this lace I only have that tiny little piece that would have been pretty like that, but this is the only piece of that lace I have. So what I need to do is, let's see, do I have anything else laying around here that I could use? That's a thin, tiny lace. Oh, look, I have another piece of that. Okay, um, you know, that's one, one area that I am lacking in is, <laughs> um, narrow, narrow, narrow laces. I don't have a lot of them. Here's, here's one. This would be pretty because it actually matches the flowers in her. So I think I'm going to go with this lace. And we're going to measure it right along there, cut it right there, and we'll measure this one, and we'll cut it right there. And that was some of my lace that Deanna sent me as well. And I also have these that would be super pretty in this. One, two, three, four. I need four of those. So we're going to cut two of those off. Oh, that one has a cut in it. Let's get another set. Yeah, this one had a little slice taken out of it there, so we'll just save that piece for something else because those loops are going to actually hang over the edge. Now these would have been pretty with this too, but I think they'll be really pretty with this lace here and then her. So. Here's what I need to do. I'm going to get my Mod Podge. I don't know what I did with my brush, of course. I'm forever leaving my brushes laying around somewhere else when I go to go back to my projects. and I have, to, I have got some really terrible brushes here. But I'm using them because um, they're still usable. They're not broken. They'll still brush, especially with uh, Mod Podge. They still work. So 
I'm still going to use them. And I think I'm going to bring her up like this. I'll leave a little bit of wood poking out there. And I just realized that she is cut a little bit too big. So I'm going to just gently cut from this edge here. There, that'll work. And I think I'm going to need to probably do that with the other one as well. Nope, the other one seems to be very, very close at least. Um, let's see, I'm going to just take a little gauche off that edge. Okay. So now let's get our Mod Podge on there. And I'm putting a generous amount. And I'm going to leave just like a, an eighth of an inch at the top of wood poking out. I'm going to say that's about an eighth of an inch. Rub that in. And again, I am going to Mod Podge the images on these. Because these are going on the refrigerator and they will be hopefully used and touched, I think this will add just a little bit of extra protection for those images. And you can see I'm not bothering with my cellophane on these. I don't think it's necessary because they're not going on all wrinkled and all of that. And here I'm just going to press with my finger. Make sure that's down all the way and there's no air bubbles in it. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go dry these real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I think I've changed my mind about this lace, the way that I'm going to use it. I'm still going to use it, but I changed the way that I'm going to use it um, because I was playing around a little bit with this and that lace, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyelash trim and I'm going to put a, a piece of that off to the side because I really like the way it looks. And sorry you guys, that's my Keurig. I'm making a cup of coffee. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need one to get through this long day today. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little piece of glue there. I'll get that started. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go the rest of the way down. Well, I just want it to poke up off the top a little bit there too, and I'm going to try and brush this over so that it's not covering her up too much. There we go. I really kind of like the way that looks, you guys. <laughs> I'm liking it a lot. And then we'll go with this one, and I think on this one I'm just going to go all the way down. Oh, if I can just grab the end of it. There we go. I don't know if I got enough glue up at the top here. 
I thought it looked like the glue kind of hadn't taken right there. Okay, so now we've got the eyelash trim on there. These are going to be really interesting little magnets. I am loving it. And then what I'm going to do with this lace is I'm just going to take, I'm going to add a little dot of glue there and I'm going to ruffle this up a little bit. Just like that, a little dot of glue and a little pinch, just like that. Now this is something you could do with a needle and thread, probably a little bit neater, but it doesn't matter because there will be something kind of going over the top. So there's one little ruffle. And now I'm going to ruffle up this other one. I just found that when I was kind of setting this over the edge of the um, clothespin, I just didn't feel like it looked quite right. But I knew that I wanted to use this lace in this clothespin, so I figured I was going to find a way to use it no matter what. And then I thought, you know, I do like to put a little ruffly piece behind some of my other stuff sometimes. And I thought that would work like a charm. So, we are going to put that right there, just like that. Towards the bottom edge. And that one. There we go. And now we're going to take some of our flowers. And again, I'm going to use one of my foam flowers on each one. And some of my paper flowers. And the foam one's going to go right in the center of that piece of lace. Just like that. So we already know where that one's going. And then I'm going to take, probably use about this, ooh, I'm so glad I didn't cut down with those scissors on that. I don't want to ruin these. These are some little um, detail scissors that uh, Debbie over at Kiki's sent me, and I don't want to mess them up because... I've needed some good detail scissors for quite some time and I finally have them and I've I actually had a couple of pairs but this pair um, really cuts well they really work really well so I don't want to mess them up before I even get a chance to use them I don't want to ever mess them up but especially not as soon as I get them <clears throat> okay so there's those, and I don't think, oh, I don't know, maybe we'll put a piece of this kind of coming out somewhere. Um, I don't think I have any purple rosebuds to use. pink. Okay, that's okay. I have a couple of uh, different little rosebuds here that I think I can pop in there that are not pink pink and they'll be really pretty in this and then I'll pop out a couple of white ones. There we go. All right. So, let's finish our flowers first. I'm going to put that one right there. 
just going to leave it there and pop the glue in. And then let me get this one in here between these two flowers. Just like that. Pop a little glue behind it and that one's down. put a white one in behind that. Just like that. So there's our white one. I do want to put a pink one in here somewhere as well, but I think I want one of these pink ones that's at least a little paler, although they are a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to put one of those right there on each of these. Okay, and now maybe what I'll do I'm going to pop a piece of this in somewhere right here and it just kind of is gripping around that foam flower so that works and we can still see our lace popping out here and we'll get this one in here and I think I'm going to try and pull up this flower just a little bit more. Pop the glue right there. And then try and squeeze that one around there. There we go. And then I want to put a couple more of my little pearls in this one. Let's see if I can find enough of them. I like these pearls because they're like an ivory color. They're not white, they're not pink, they're ivory, and they look a little more vintage. So let's get a couple of these in there. Put one right there. And one in the front right there. And then one right there. Okay, so now we'll kind of do the same thing on this side. One there. I almost put that hole right to the top. <laughs> Don't want to do that. And one in the front. And this last little one will go right there. Okay, so there's that. And now we just need a little something up here at the top. So I'm thinking I've got these little bits that Debbie sent me and it actually fits nicely at the top of these. Um, and I've got a couple of them, so I've got one for each one of these. Ah, I'm not sure. Um, 
Originally, I was thinking I was going to go with, you know, a little purple butterfly, but I only have one, so I can't make a match with just one of those. So that is not going to work. But a lot of these bits and pieces, I only have one. And so I can't match them. Maybe if I put this kind of going more sideways, like that. That looks pretty. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and turn it sideways. And we'll get this one on there. And what else was I going to do? Oh, I want to put some of my other little pearls in there as well. Got to have some of these popping out. Got that. Got that one. And two more times. Okay, so these we're going to pop coming out to the same side that the, uh, the rhinestone piece is coming out. And I'm going to very quickly pop in the little ones while the glue's still hot. And then we'll pop these in the other side. This side's a little tighter fit right there, so it's not going to be as easy to get these in there. So let's just see. There we go. Got it. Okay. So there's that set of clothes pins. All we have to do now is add our magnets. On the back. Just like that. Okay, and was there something else I wanted to do here? I feel like there was. I just kind of feel like these need something else. I don't know why. Maybe that? These are both a little bit different, but the same colors. Uh, let's see. Or maybe just a little piece of this popping out. Nope. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to use these two little bits. Maybe you use this one on this side because it's a little bit smaller. And this one will push in a little bit better on that side. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to add these little bits that I got from Kiki's. 
and we will be all set. I just love making these, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, these are so much fun for me to make, and they're so therapeutic. Um, and look at I totally forgot. I was going to use these in this, and I totally didn't. So, looks like I'm going to have to do some more clothespins on another day. Um, okay, so these are done. I hope you guys liked them. Let me pull out the other ones right here. Oh, I do want to put just a tiny bit of my silver stickles just to finish these off. And I think I'm going to add a little bit to the flowers on this one. And I'm just putting a little bit, basically, on the tips of these little roses and stuff. I don't want to do too much. It's amazing how long I can make just a video on doing two paper clips, but, or clothespins, I'm sorry, not paper clips. Speaking of paper clips, though, that's another thing that I want to do. I'm going to do another paper clip video and do some altered paper clips because I haven't done that in a while and I just love them and I need to make some for my shop because those are actually one of the things that actually sell really well these do as well um, depending on the style you know some some take a little longer to sell than others but these are um, something that I have sold a lot of um, they seem to be pretty popular so I do really well with my clothespins and with the um, paper clips so let's just knock this stuff out of the way here move these over just a tad bit okay and there we go you guys we have four absolutely gorgeous close pin refrigerator magnets and let me zero in a little closer on these so that you guys can get a good look at how pretty they turned out aren't they gorgeous I just love them anyway so that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, I certainly did enjoy doing it and um, May God bless all of you. I hope you have a really, really blessed day. And if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing to my channel. And um, if you are, thanks so much for all of you that have been uh, hanging around for a while. And to all of my new subscribers, I've got a lot of new subscribers um, here to my channel. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for subscribing. It's um, great to have you here. We got a wonderful, wonderful group of crafters um, here that are all so helpful to each other and to me. They give me uh, sometimes advice, sometimes ideas. Um, if you have any ideas of things that you would like to see me make, please make a suggestion. If it's something that I think I can do, I will absolutely um, do a video on it. Um, other things, sometimes I have a hard time um, you know, figuring out how to do them, but usually I'll try. So um, just uh, leave me a message there and let me know what it is you'd like to see. I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, so anyway, everybody, um, don't forget, I've got my two um, giveaways. I've got the 7,000 subscriber giveaway, which I reached my 7,000 subscribers. And this is my YouTube channel giveaway for, let me back off a little bit so you guys can actually see this. So watch my video on this. This is a video that I did um, of this 
little uh, wall hanging and it actually lights up and so um, I just love this. I'd like to keep it myself, but I'm not going to. Um, so this is the one for my 7,000 subscriber video uh, or giveaway. And then don't forget, I've also got, if, for those of you that spend $50 or more in my Etsy shop, I have a giveaway there as well. You guys all saw me do my snippet roll. That's what I'm giving away in my Etsy store as my giveaway for January. So $50 or more, you still have a few days to be able to get in on that giveaway. And this is what you'll receive there if you win the raffle. So um, get over there, see if there's something that you'd be interested in purchasing. Um, and that $50 actually works if you've made more than one purchase and those purchases together total $50, um, that's okay, you'll be entered into the raffle. So if you've made a $20 purchase, you can make another purchase of $30 and you will be entered into the raffle. So um, get in there, you guys, and thank you for supporting my Etsy shop. Thank you for supporting my channel, and everybody have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next video.